Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WordPress server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on AWS. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed WordPress, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So from this page simply click on continue to subscribe. After that from this product page simply click on accept terms and then wait for the validation for complete and then wait for the subscription validation to complete. Once the subscription validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose your the AMI, choose the software version and the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would get two options on the next page to launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or to launch it from the EC2 management console. So simply change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as WordPress. After that scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And after that choose the instance type of the virtual machine according to your requirements and then choose a key pair by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Anyways, you can leave the network settings as default and when satisfied with the settings simply click on launch instance to actually deploy the virtual machine. So wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the virtual machine has been deployed, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this simply click on view all instances. Now to connect to our virtual machine, simply right click on the virtual machine and then choose connect. After that, you need to shift over to the RDP client tab. Now on this page you can see that. The public DNS is given, even the username is given, but the password is not provided. So to get the password, simply click on get password and then you would be brought to this page where you need to browse to your key pair. And once you have browsed to your key pair, you would see the contents over here. Simply click on decrypt password to get the password right over here. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection. And in here, you're simply going to paste in this public DNS. And after that, click on show options and then simply paste the username as administrator over here and then click on connect. Now this is going to ask you about the password. So simply copy this password and paste it inside this field and then click on OK. And then it is going to prompt you that you're trying to connect to a remote host. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. And once the connection has been established, also wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the very first step is to create a database for WordPress. Now to do this, simply head over to this icon on the desktop that says PHP My Admin. Now on this login page, the username is root and the password is actually your virtual machine's instance ID. Now normally the instance ID is written right over here. But in case this is not written over here, simply minimize this desktop connection and then go back to instances and then you can copy the instance ID from over here. So simply copy it and paste it inside the password field and then hit go. Now this is going to allow you to log into MySQL using PHP MyAdmin. Now you can basically create a new database. Now to create a database, simply head over to the databases tab and then give your database a name. So I'm just going to call it WordPress DB01 and then make sure that the encoding is set to UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI. After that, simply hit create to actually create this database. Now once this database has been created, we also want to create a specific user that has all the privileges over this database. So for that, simply head over to the privileges tab and then click on add a user account and then type in the name for your user. So I'm just going to go with CIS admin. After that, give your user a password and change the authentication to native MySQL authentication. And after that, make sure that grant all privileges on database WordPress DB01 has been ticked and then global privileges check them all. After that, scroll down and click on go to create this user. Now once you have created this database, the next step is to actually install WordPress. So simply click this icon on the desktop that says localhost and then just simply go along with the installation of the WordPress. So type the database name as 
the one that you created which in my case is WordPress DB01 and then the username and its respective password. Leave the database host as localhost and leave the table prefix as WP and then just simply click on submit and then simply click the button that says run the installation. Now this is going to install WordPress onto your virtual machine. After that you can customize the site that you want to create. So I just want to go with the site title as CIS and the username for this administrator account for this site is going also be CIS admin and then the password. After that, simply provide an email for the administrator account on that site. Once that is done, simply click on install WordPress and the site would be created. Now if you want to log into your WordPress admin portal, simply click on login or visit the link localhost wp-login. Type in the credentials that you have just created for your website and you would be able to log into your WordPress website's admin panel. And after that, if you want to access your WordPress website from external sources like other than the virtual machine itself, then for that you need to configure the WordPress config file. Now to do this, simply open up the file explorer, open up this PC, head inside C and then inetpub and then WordPress and in here you would see this file as wpconfig.php file. Open this file up, you can open it up using notepad and after that you need to simply type in the following lines which is defined WordPress home and WordPress site URL and right over here where it says public IP you're going to paste in the IP address of your virtual machine. Now to get this IP simply minimize this remote desktop connection click on instances click on your virtual machine and here you would see your public IPv4 address click on this icon to copy it and then head back to the remote desktop connection and paste it at this place. After that, simply save this file and exit and then you want to restart the service which is used by WordPress. So simply hit windows and type services. So open up this application and in here you're going to search for worldwide web publishing service. So simply right click on it and then click on restart. And once it has restarted, you can access your WordPress website externally. Now that also brings us to the end of this video. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for AWS and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up WordPress server on AWS. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.